a special shout out to all my awesome YouTube members and patrons, Riptide, Anik D, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yushika Bay, Madlo, Lucky Charms, Sam Medina, and Blah Bear Cookie for your amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7 Days That I, Darkness Falls Mods. I'm back here at the base. Actually, quickly wanted to do a little off-camera work, but then I realized we have some Wandering Horde over here. And I want the XP, so I need to kill these dudes. I need to be careful this time that the spider doesn't jump into my face and then... I send myself a light again. Uh, that happened last time and that kinda sucked. If I can lure them here by my horde base, the horde base is looking really good so I can just quickly kill them this way. We we'll probably also make sure we hit them again with some Molotov because there's a few over there. It's a little bit tougher than their friends. But yeah, and then over here all I need to really do is do some spear movements, power attacks. And they should bleed, well they're gonna fall off and they should bleed out as well. I need to make sure that our stamina is doing fine though. I don't want to run out of stamina at the worst uh, possible time right now. See, they're bleeding from the power attack, which is really good. I need them to bleed out so I don't have to waste any stamina killing them. And there's these dudes. Nice, nice, nice. They're very low on HP. Just realized that, dude. That could have been bad. Just do this. They need to jump over to me. Um, should probably do this. I'm not gonna make too much noise right now. One more Molotov could kill them, but I wanna try and say, you know, it. Ah. That dude has to come closer as well. Please don't go off in my hand. For some reason, they're not going for my pillow over there instead of for me. I hate it when they do that. Okay, the fire should hit all of them if I do this. Yeah, there you go. And then there's some bags over there that I wanna quickly loot because there might be some awesome stuff in these. Now, why can't I jump too high? I need to uh, look into that a bit. It might be now that because I'm hungry, but I know for a fact that I went for parkour level 2. So the fact that we can't jump uh, two blocks high is actually kind of bothering me right now. Wait, how do you guys survive that monitor just now? The same amount of HP left as you had earlier. At least these zombies do not aggro, so that's awesome. Also guys, I just figured something out of clothing and it took me long enough. Uh, basically, the reason we are getting really, really cold in the forest biome is because we were wearing the poncho. Now, unlike earlier or previously when the poncho gave you heat and cold resist, it now only gives you heat resist and minus 15 cold resist. I thought the minus 15 means it's good. Nope. It was actually making me cold, the poncho. So what I did now is I'm actually uh, wearing a business suit that gives me 5-5 five five, instead of uh, the poncho that gives me minus 15 cold. So I'm 20... 20 cold better right now just because I'm wearing this instead of the poncho. The poncho gives you 15 resistance against the heat so that's really good. Which means I should probably be carrying around the, uh, the one the poncho and two the puffer coat. I thought we had a puffer coat but it seems we don't. Okay what a long long night. Um, I just finally managed to get my mining up enough so I can do six shots. Over here I did six shots and then there's like two HP left on these blocks. So it's a little bit of a waste of stamina going for this with my fire axe. As you guys can see, I took out the whole roof of here until about there. What if I disconnect this with the rest of the cave? And the only problem right now is the fact that I put cobble up there as a roof. So that's kind of holding everything up as well. Um, these aren't connected, but this, for example, is. So I wonder. See, if I could just at least get this one side to cave in, I could put a proper roof in so we don't have to worry about the vultures. Because last horde, man, those vultures were the biggest problem that I had. I wonder if I should leave this one open. I do want to make a farm, but that's only later. So instead of breaking the floor over here and then have more of this roof cave in. But I think that might be better, right? If I just disconnect the bottom over here from the top, everything should start caving. Although I think I might have to disconnect this side because this is still helping holding everything up. I'm hoping the weight gets so much that even this block falls off. Otherwise, we're going to have to go and break those anyways. Since this is a doorway, uh, just destroying these blocks might not be enough. My food and water is a little bit too low, so I'm not going to even try and do the rest right now. But this is technically how I should spend my nights, until day 14. Just make sure we uh, drop all of that in. I need to make more cobble to make myself a proper roof. And then, when the vultures come, just throw one or two molotovs straight up. Make sure you have some water right next to you, so you don't accidentally set yourself alight and kill yourself that way. But yeah, um, that's a nice way to actually deal with the vultures. Damn, my throat's closing up all for me. <laughs> okay, so food, um, we do have some food over here. I think we also have some food in the oven itself. Can you grab as much as possible, fill up, and then be on my way? If you're, uh, feeling Everything only resets on day 13. 
So at least it's still before the horde, we get more coffee. Unfortunately, guys, coffee is locked behind Sue Chef, which is farming or the coffee recipe. So the moment I get a coffee recipe, I can actually make myself some coffee. Also, I figured out why I can't jump too high. Um, I got confused between this and other mods. Basically, usually it's out of four, and the second one allows you to jump on higher. This reduces or increases the fall distance to two meters, reduces stamina when jumping, and this one allows you to jump on higher. Now, I already used the one skill point I had when we leveled up and went for my tool breaking over here. Um, this one over here, well maintained, because I don't want my fire axe breaking while we break down the roof. Should probably also see while we're here, just repair a few things, combine it with what I have, and then we can be on our way. Red mod, can't use that right now. Grab all of this. Okay, so as soon as I have everything put away and in place, I should probably keep the food on me as well. Um, we need to go for these quests. The nice thing is I can go for that one, then down. I want to spam quest, guys. We need rewards right now. Oh, nice. I can probably make myself a container over here as well, so we can just drop everything. I don't have to go back and forth all the time, but at least this is very close to my boxes. So it's not too bad having to drop everything every now and then. 27. I'm going to have to go wrench cars again. Um, and then from next week, guys, or next episode, I should have the name of that one workbench that we need. Because basically you can make gas out of just a ton of uh, wood over here. That's what Kane was doing in his series. I don't know if it's been removed or not. I haven't seen the comments yet. But that's my next step. I have to focus on stuff like that for now. What I should also probably do is I'm going to accept these quests and only when I'm facing the zombies do I cut back to you guys. It's going to save time. Otherwise, I'm going to have to corral them uh, and that's uh, it takes way too much time. So from the next one onwards, what I'm going to do is I'm going to accept it. Wait for as many zombies to come close to me as possible and then get you guys back as they come. Are you part of this? No, ooh, but you are. Ladies. Uh, I should be okay on some wood over here. I don't mind losing one or two of these. As long as not too many uh, ladies come for me right now. You're gonna break that. Let's go. So basically when I do this, or just before I do that, I get you guys back. And then we'll be able to get as much done as possible. Oh no, you're dying from the fire. Damn. I didn't notice there was a dude there but, you know, when I see the monitor of it first. Okay, so return to Trader. I don't know if she's part of this quest. Every time we see some resources, we need to stop for them as well, because I'm going to need a ton of cobble for my roof. You're bleeding out. You should bleed from that. The nice thing is they don't aggro. That's the biggest thing in this mod. I really, I'm not a fan of the aggroing part. I can understand Horde Knight and stuff, zombies being faster, stronger because of the red moonlight. But other than that, I'm not a fan of just they, they get angry at you all of a sudden. Did you either be angry at you from the start? Oh yeah. Okay, so can't pick that one up. We should get a more we should get more quests over here in the future. So it's nice to have a frame left over here that we know exactly where to go to. So next up is fetch quest. Hello, hello, hello. One knife striker is already bleeding out almost all the way. I thought I saw a fat lady over here, but it's just him that I saw. Probably start putting some stuff in my vehicle as well because I'm gonna get encumbered right now. We don't want to go in there and then there's a dog or something that's going to come for us. And you should stop. Please, don't move. Okay, if I dump all of you, we have the right amount blocked. Except fetch. Oh, I should have tried getting the resources over here and then resetting it. I mean, just look at all the resources over here. It's nice. Okay, there's a dog. There's a dog. There's a dog. There's a dog. Okay. I might have called some attention to us just now, but that's fine. I knew there was a dog. I actually um, I was preparing for one, but all of a sudden I have him uh, pop out of nowhere. <laughs> it's kind of scary. Okay, so we need resources as well. Let me just quickly pick up all of these. There is a zombie incoming, so I need to be careful of that zombie as well. Okay, so there's a fat dude over here. I hear another zombie to the left, so there's even more coming right now. As long as I can do one power attack, it bleeds them nicely. That's all we really need right now. One nice power attack to the head. Some of them die instantly and the rest just bleed out. I want to get too far away from this quest right now. I want to see if I can't go for some uh, bird nests right now, as many as possible. So that later we don't have to worry too much about eggs. I want to make more poops, but we're going to need eggs for those as well. I've used most of my eggs for the bacon and eggs. Okay, and then also, I haven't finished the last shot on these. I got them down to just the last shot, so it's easier to open up together. 
it is a shame that you can't pick certain things up like this. It would be cool if I could actually pick this up in like, like Undead Legacy and use it later. The fetch is right here. We are done, but we also need to go... Come on. Uh, we also do need to go and get the final stash for this place. Let me see, let me see. As long as there's no other dogs over here, I should be able to run through this fast. Wait, was I on that side already and I just missed it? Or I think we're going to get to that side now. I don't know. I don't think there's any more dogs. Oh, crap. That just scared the hell out of me. <laughs> That's why I missed the first shot. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. But yeah, as long as there's no more dogs, I need to be careful because someone said that they get uh, demonic zombies and stuff early on. Although we are on 50% XP, so we shouldn't have too much of a problem right now. Okay, there's a radiator in here already. Damn. Radiated soldier. Damn, dude. Now, what if I shouldn't go for a steel one? If I can get the sneak damage to kill him first shot, I don't have to worry. Okay, uh, we do need to loot all of this, but I think the safest bet is going to be just to clear this place first, right? We already got a spider, as uh, a dog, and a radiated soldier via. But we can't take any unnecessary chances, right? Oh, I need this for the fuel. What was that just now? Something just bugged. But yeah, we need to grab that for the fuel, so we don't have to worry about fuel too much. I want to try and see if we can't stealth most of this, but it's not going to be as easy as it looks. I wish it was auto-load. Oh, it is a fetch and clear, so I have to clear the zombies anyways. I almost left this place thinking it was just a fetch. Good thing I didn't. Okay, there's more zombies around the corner. I think this might be one of those where you fall through the floor. And if it is, I need to be careful. Oh, okay, so that's upstairs. Why does it look like it's over here with me? That red dot. It wasn't showing up before. That's why I'm kind of scared right now. Okay, be careful of any ferals. As long as it's just weak zombies like these, we should be able to take them easy. Okay, you should bleed out. I need to be so careful right now. I think there's going to be a zombie in that room, but we should be able to circle around. Okay, now we have to go that way, it seems. Please, I need a puffer coat. Okay, leather duster might help, but I think that helps in the what biome. Let me just see. Oh, it helps in the cold biome. This used to be for hot and cold. The darkest falls respect these. So basically, if I go into the desert, because it's leather, I'm going to be so over over hot or overheating it's gonna be insane overly hot but i'm gonna be overheating there you go come on i need to loot this whole place afterwards as well i'm gonna try and make sure we grab everything i might be able to grab i love the fact that when you uh, loot something it disappears it makes it so much easier to loot can you be careful right now I think there's a dude lying right there. Um, yep, hello. A few dudes over there. If I do this... That should lead them, and as soon as I break through the door, I'll be able to kill them easily. And while we wait for them to break through... We just loot these. I could have sworn there was a red dot that we missed, so I need to be careful of that. Well, the soldiers are a little bit tougher, so I need to be careful of them. The fact that they can uh, burn and not die is a lot. Was this dude downstairs or is he up here with me? Hello? Yeah, are you feral? I hate ladies. I hate these ladies. I need to make sure they don't get stuck on anything. But I guess, yeah, I knew there was another dude, but I just couldn't see him down below. What I need to do is close these doors so when he comes to me right now, I know exactly where he is. I'm going to hear him beating on whatever's down there. I'm just glad we get cobble from this and not clay. It makes getting stuff way easier as well. Okay, so before that dude comes up, let's just quickly get some more resources over here. Oh, she destroyed the chair. That is a shame. Okay, so we need to have our Lucky Ludo goggles on. That's just going to give me food. The, the fact that we already have like two or three uh, beakers is awesome. 
Usually I struggle to get the beakers like crazy and this time around it's so much easier. Okay, so I just have to kill one more dude and then we're down this place. Come on. Not the greatest. Okay, he's here somewhere. He's up here. Nope, he's not up here. He's still downstairs. What? Dude, are you that dumb? He's definitely not up here, which is good for us. But he's going to come up soon. I need to probably also do this so every time I come across a bed. We need the springs and stuff from... Did I miss him downstairs? See, he was definitely on that side, but I couldn't see him when I was down here. So I missed him or just walked past... I think I might have crouched past him. He was definitely down here. I think he might have been in the bathroom or something. He just didn't see me. Or he might have been in the kitchen because the red dot was on the side. Oh, the garage. Okay, that makes sense. I was about to say, how the hell? Where did he come from just now? Because I literally didn't see a thing. And then all of a sudden, when I was on the other side, I saw that this side still had a red dot. So it didn't make any sense to... Oh, nice. Two acids. It didn't make any sense to me as to how there could still be a red dot of here, but I passed this door thinking this was the outside. But it was not the outside. Um... Damn, I should probably just do this. Stop being lazy. Just now there's some more acid and stuff in there we might be able to use. Nothing in the roof. Guys, always, always make sure there's nothing that can fall in your head. It's so easy to forget to look up and then all of a sudden you have a huge problem. Okay, I think you can arrange these as well, right? Yes. Okay, so we can get wheels from these. And we can get wheels from these. Now I just have to go back to the trader and hand both quests in. I just realized since we're here... Please have some coffee somewhere. I should probably see if there's no coffee over here and then also buy some food. It's so easy running out of food or running out of cash in this thing. Okay, so, um, How please, 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 please. Okay, the food might be really good. Iron crossbow bolts. Yeah, let's go for this. And I don't have to carry around stone ones anymore. These might also all be, especially this one, uh, you use 7.62 ammo, I think. Now we have honey. This might be really good for food, but unfortunately at the moment we can only accept one. Okay, any more jobs? We're going to go for a nursery back you to health. Ladies just don't have any armor on, so it's way easier killing them than any of the soldiers that might actually, like soldiers appearing or uh, construction dudes, they all have armor. What a wonderful day. Gratitude, yes, it is. Friend. Let's see. Four grip my help. Ooh, another wrench. I think we have a few wrenches at the base already that we can use for repairs. High rifle we don't need. Chest leather armor we don't need. All grip mod. Might be able to put this on my pump shotgun. I don't really like the duck ball that's on it at the moment. And we might be able to sell for 140 later. These sell for not even nearly as much. But I wonder if I shouldn't just get the wrench. It might come in handy later. So we're going to do that. No. We need for our weapons. We have Horde Knight weapons. We need uh, mods for them. We actually really need to start focusing on mods right now. We need to also see if we can't craft some stuff for us. Or teach some stuff. That's all the way to the west. Jobs. All the way to the west, please, as far as possible. I really admire you. Nice. You okay, now man. let's see. If I put on my glasses, ammo crafting, 6,000 dukes. Um, okay, that is recipes. Oh, shotgun, 200 dukes. Oh, well, I could have just used skill points, but at the moment, guys, we can't use skill points because we're only on 50% XP. AR 15 and P225. So as long as I have the stuff, um, I, I don't have a lathe to make the parts, but if I have the parts, I can make the gun. Open trade routes, why not? I should probably also see if she doesn't have any trade routes for us to open. Uh, inventory, do you have shotgun ammo for us? I only have six... Ah, uh, see, with ammo crafting, I can actually make better ammo. But I do need shotgun ammo right now, or perhaps breaching rounds. Or time charges. That are, either of those will come in so handy right now. Cigar we don't need. Okay, uh, long barrel, we might need to make the shotgun. I wonder if I shouldn't buy, uh, try and buy the parts and see if I can't make myself a better uh, pump shotgun, but I think my skill is too low anyways at the moment. So that was a little bit of a waste of cash. And then shotgun shells, damn. Because I'm just going to have to make do with my Molotovs then. Because at the moment, we don't have shotgun ammo. That's going to come to bite us in the ass if you're not careful. This will be able to sell. I just need a puffer coat. I really seriously need a puff coat right now. Oh, wait, the dyes. I need to take the dyes off. Don't just sell stuff, Zon. Pay attention. Blueberry jam schematic. Awesome. See, these we just got from looting that place and I didn't even pay attention. We need to pay way, 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 way better attention to this. Okay, food. No coffee. 
Ooh, oh wow, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's a little that. bit expensive, my taste. Okay, so for the shotgun, no, for the shovel, we're gonna go and put this on so we can dig faster. Uh, blueberry jam schematic, the reed, scrap. Most of the stuff you can scrap because on the rimmer, guys, in Darkest Falls, you can't use these things. You have to scrap them down for the resource. Okay, I should probably eat and drink and make sure we're full and then go for that airdrop because the airdrop might have some awesome stuff in there for us. Ooh, coffee. There's nothing that I'm supposed to have here except my vehicle, so that's going to work. And then, does anything over here only have, like, one mod on? Oh, you don't have any mods on. Oh. Did I forget to put the mods back on at the base? I definitely had, like, the bladed mods and stuff, and I, but I repaired this one. I hope I didn't accidentally lose the mods and I went up in quality and I didn't even realize. That would suck. Guys, I need to get myself a better chair. Either an office chair. Um, because I'm using on at the moment or proper gaming chair, but they're so damn expensive. Sitting for this long recording and streaming and stuff really takes a toll on my back and my bum. <laughs> my tailbone and everything. Sometimes when I stand up, feels like it's been crushed. I think before I even start the next episode, I should go and drop that roof. Otherwise, I'm going to forget. Ooh, steel pick. Nice. Um, proper armor as well. You know, I'm actually regretting taking the wrench because now we get another wrench. But we got a really good pistol as well, so that's going to help us during Horde Nights killing those damn vultures. This was actually a really good find just now. Damn. Okay, be careful of that wolfie over there. I think it would have been easier just get them with the uh, fear because these ladies are surprisingly very, very weak. So yeah, they're going to bleed out from the fire alone. I could do some power attacks as well to speed it up, but I don't want to waste any stamina. See, look how, look how easy that was. If you see you're a little bit too late, we have a survivor via that was like, well, please don't, please don't interfere, I want to kill them myself. Okay, fetch quest over here. Okay, I want to do this fast. The fetch is up here, so I don't even have to go down some stairs. See, there's resources and stuff, but if you can get the fetch quest without even going into the POI, then just do that. I do want to see, where's the final stash, though? If I can get the final stash quickly, that would be awesome. Because then at least we got those, uh, that loot as well. I want to do that, I want to do this so it goes right next to the locked slots. And then there's nothing in here, right? There might be a zombie or two. Yep, hello. There's a box, but that's not the final stash. And there's some resources over here. I think there might be another zombie up there, so I need to be careful. Let's just quickly get the resources over here and then get the boxes up top. We're definitely going to have to open trade routes for the traders as soon, oh nice, as soon as possible because different traders teach you different things. Oh, steroids, nice. So for example, this one taught us um, how to craft guns and stuff. Others might teach us some other stuff as well. So it might definitely be worth going for that. Unfortunately, at the moment, I don't know where the final stash for this place is. So I don't know if it's going to be worth grabbing or not. It might be in the roof. Let's just stack up over here and see if we can see something through the windows. If I can't see it, so guys, I'm going to leave it. Um, obviously, the final stash is all really important. But at the moment, I can't afford to worry about final stashes. We need to do these quests, get the rewards, and then, yeah, just get the rep up and everything. Okay, so Curiosity got, got the best of me just now, and yeah, I, I saw these bookcases over here. I was like, you know what, let me just see if I can find that final stash. Um, just to kill a few zombies, but the nice thing is I could just hide in the walls and dispose of them. Uh, there's more bookcases over here. I was like, you know what, we need the notes, so why not just go and grab it? And then I think final stash is in this room over here. Okay, cool. So it was worth it. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm here. Yeah, I can just as well. Okay, this you need to read from your belt. I wonder why the perk books alone you need to read from your belt. Everything else, it doesn't matter where you read it from. Like, we might not have enough stamina to carry all this stuff. Guys, we encumbered. The vehicle's full. I need to go drop stuff off. Okay, so Great let's job. see. Uh, ooh, pump shotgun. It's not as good as ours, but we'll be able to repair. Our current one without having to lose any idea, but I, I want those notes actually, but I can't do right now. Hey, do you have any other work to teach me? Okay, open trade routes, awesome. Uh, any crafting? Armor crafting, 3000 dukes, we'll take that one. And I'll take the jobs now, I just first want to make sure we um, get the rewards. I'm actually already going to say the goodbyes. Oh, After this, I'm just going to accept the rewards and go back to the base to drop stuff off. So if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends, comments, tips and feedback, leave down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and Patreons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or the Patreon link in the description down below.